Okay, so this is our Cherry Hill Summer Program Showcase. We are going to begin with Mr. Devin from Hippie Cherry Hill. Good morning. Um, my name is Devin Sanders. I am the Hippie Cherry Hill Program Coordinator. Our program services students, or I mean caregivers with children between the ages of two and four years old. We are a home visiting program. So we can go in the home and we can meet you in the community. We offer curriculum um, in five domain areas. So reading, writing, so language, math, um, growth development, and science. Um, it's really cool. It's fun. All of our materials are interactive. So if you know somebody that has a two to four-year-old, tell them and have them tell somebody else. Um, I also do have QR codes, and then I am here inside the GD Center at the end. Um, so you can always come to my door. Thank you. Miss Jasmine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I I'm distracted. No, you're fine. Good morning. Um, I'm Miss Jane from the Beauty Center. We are a zero one five school readiness program. I'm the family service coordinator with the Beauty Center. We have two programs running this summer. Um, we have a zero to three program that's for families that have a child with zero to three. That's a parent and child summer camp. So the parent has to stay with the child. That's Monday through Thursday from about 10 to 11, 11 30, I think, the latest. Um, but Ms. Robinson, most of you know Ms. Robinson, who was the Beauty Center coordinator, that's the person to see some content for that. I can give you her information if you don't already know. Um, the second program that we have is a pre-K and K summer camp as well. So that's for current pre-K students and current kindergarten students. Um, we are pretty much at capacity for that program. We have about four spaces left. So if you know anybody that has a pre-K or K student, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, one other intensive that we're doing is offering spaces to interim pre-K students. So that's anybody who has fully completed the pre-K registration for this upcoming school year. Any questions, comments, and stuff? Nope. And so we run run Monday through Thursday as well, um, from nine to two, and we provide for lunch and drink. Um, and we'll also be taking field trips. Um, every Monday we'll have some house show as well, and we'll have plenty of fun activities planned for the students. Thank you. Good morning. All right, so Miss Ward is going to be joining us in a little, so we are going to skip Cub Academy for now and go to Elevate. All right, good morning, everybody. My name is Michael Rock. I'm the Community School Coordinator. I have under this fire on the table. You can feel free to take the copy of take one of my cards. Um, so this is a program that is for rising second graders only, but it is open to all Baltimore City um, students. I believe it's from 8.30 to 3.30, and there's a heavy emphasis on literacy and development of reading skills and like social and emotional learning and a lot of fun activities that also involve music and just um, our witnesses. It, all the kids are like they have the time. Um, and breakfast and lunch is provided, and then in addition, um, it's culturally relevant, right? So you're reading books that are very culturally relevant to the students that are there, um, and I think they definitely get a lot out of the program. So please feel free to scan this QR code, and again, it's for rising second graders only, so that means this scholar has to be in the first grade this year, and it's open to everyone. All first graders in Baltimore. Sit. So, does anybody have any questions? Is it is it going to be here or is it the eight It's going to be here. Okay, because on this paper it doesn't say something. Yeah, I will. the question? Is it going to be here? Um, yeah, there's a, so there's two programs. There's one here at Arundel Elementary mm -hmm. School that's for rising second graders, and then there's one at Cherry Hill Elementary Middle School for uh, rising six through eight graders. Okay. Yep. So what about the kids that go to Thursday? When you know, cherry go for them? Um, the UMBC math program for mm -hmm. parents. Yes, is for rising second graders. Uh, well, current second graders that are that are going to the um Cherry Hill Elementary Middle School, okay. and that's a math program that will help prepare them for what they're going to be next in their uh journey. Okay. And what else do you do? Um, well, she's going to come up and talk about oh, math, but I'll also add to the Elevate Freedom Schools uh, that they take weekly field trips. 
as well as um, engage in enrichment programs in the afternoon. So their full morning is the literacy based um, curriculum, but in the afternoon, they're doing different enrichments that meet their um, interests. So such as like cooking class, art class, we've had STEM programs run through the after school, I mean, through the summer program, as well as like martial arts, things that interest the students that'll keep them um, engaged and ready for real world experiences. And then, um, as Mr. Mock said, um, you can contact him if you need support for registration here at Arundel. Um, and Ms. Octavia Hike is the community school coordinator over at Historic Cherry Hill Elementary Middle School. So if you have middle school students that um, are interested in that summer program, you can reach out to her for support with registration as well. And just to cap off things that are elevated and related here at Arundel, if you have not um, completed the end of year survey, that is still open. We will all, as many parents as possible, to please complete their survey. There is an incentive for the students. Uh, the class that has the highest completion percentage by the parents uh, will get awarded to each part. Um, so please, this is uh, to gather your thoughts and opinion. It is very valuable data. So we want as many parents as possible to complete it. So take a uh, copy of this on your way out and scan it. And then last thing to plug here, we had an organized fair group meeting yesterday on Thursday. That's going to be every third Thursday of each month um, at 9 a.m. in the morning, unless we, as a majority of the parents, want to vote and select on a new time. But that's been the resting date. It's every third Thursday at 9 Every fourth Thursday of the month at 1 p.m., we have a family power hour. So that's going to be next Thursday. We're going to have a lunch. We can also discuss the organized parent group. You can learn more and have uh, the space to ask more questions and inquire about all the programming that's going on in Baltimore City and Sherry Hill. And it's just a great opportunity to really engage with the other parents. Um, so we hope to have as many parents as possible join that. If you are free, please grab a flyer and scan the QR code. Thank you. Sorry for the old <laughs> oh, <laughs> do you want to? Sure, I'll take that one right now. All right, with me again. Oh, I didn't even introduce myself. My name is Tia Brisson. I'm the manager of community schools with LV Baltimore. Um, we oversee the community school strategy in 15 schools across Baltimore City. Um, South Baltimore Girl High School is our first adult um, high school. Um, it is uniquely housed here in South Baltimore, Cherry Hill. It is for um adult learners 24 and up that are seeking to um, obtain their high school diploma, not just a GED, but an at, but a, a Maryland State high school diploma. Um, in addition to receiving their high school diploma, they also receive the same wraparound services that our community school students such as Arundel and Cherry Hill receive, such as um, social supports, uh, water, energy assistance, um, regular assistance, um, support with child care, transportation, um, technology. Um, the program is currently virtual, so they just sometimes do need support with getting computers and Wi-Fi and things like that. Um, but they are, we are happy to have about five graduates right now um, in the process. So woo -woo. in June, they will walk, through. we're also partnered with BCCC to um, facilitate the classes and curriculum. So they'll walk the stage with BCCC students mm -hmm. as they get their high school diploma this year. So if you, you yourself or you know any um, adult learners 24 and over that are looking at obtaining their high school diploma and begin um, different career opportunities and exploration, please scan the QR code or take a picture of the flyer. You can also visit Elevate Baltimore um, on Instagram, Facebook, and our website to learn more information about any of the programs that we um, uh, currently hold between Baltimore City as well as South Florida. Sorry, I talked fast. <laughs> All right. All right. Good morning, everyone. My name is Sarah Kraut, and um, I work for UNBC, and I oversee a lot of our partnership programs. And one of our partnership programs is um, UNBC Math Camp, which happens at Cherry Hill Elementary Middle School. It's for current second through fifth graders. Um, so we spend, it's a full day camp, 8.30 to 2.30. It's not full day, but it's most of the day, 8.30 to 2.30. We spend three hours in the morning focusing on different components of math. So um, our core math section actually gets students ready for their next grade level. So if you have second graders here at Arundel, they'll get introduced to their third grade material so that they'll be kind of ahead before they even hit that math classroom. Um, for our second graders at Arundel, we also use this as a transition period so that they already get to know and recognize and get used to the building before they enter on their first day next year. Um, we have a personalized learning block where we spend time um, in small groups where we have UMBC tutors that will come 
um, or they work on some of the district platforms. And then there's a math advisory piece where we do a lot of career connections. We bring in guest speakers. They do project-based learning, really getting them to see that math is in other places than just in the math classroom. And then in the afternoon, they do STEAM and enrichment. And so we do things like robotics, Legos. Um, we have an art component, an athletics component, and kids get to choose where they want to go for different rotations throughout the summer. We do field trips. This year, we're bringing in a steel drum residency, so all the kids will learn how to play the steel drums. So there will be like a little concert happening. Um, yeah, and so we have, it's great, and um, it is filling up very fast. This is our second year, and so if you're interested, there are paper applications here, and then there are also um, flyers that you can take with the QR code if you want to do it online as well. Um, and you can just give it to your child's teacher, and they'll make sure it gets the right person. If you have any questions, I'll be here. But well, we got a question. Yeah. Did you get Courtney Brown? It's Karen. Say that again. You said it's filling up real fast. I said, did you get Courtney Brown? Oh, so she guess she wants to check on someone's application. Oh, I'll pull it up. Okay. Yeah, I'll see if she's on there. I know Courtney too, because I think we teach Courtney. Yeah. But she's in the tutoring program, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I was like, I know that name. Mm -hmm. I can look about any other questions. No. Okay. You messing with I know. You yeah. gotta give her a hard time. I know. Well, I'm like, we filled it out. It's in there. <laughs> Me with that. Okay, I'll double check. Don't do the oh, no, God. You're good. You're good. Yeah. Like, I better, she better be in there. I think she is. Good morning. Good morning. All right. UMBC choice. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And the I representative from the choice program at UMBC. Um, I am in charge of plugging our vocational exploration programs. So there are a lot of plays of choice. Um, but one of the main ones that we're trying to revitalize here in Cherry Hill area is our vocational exploration leadership experience. Um, it's a program developed to uh, reach or target ages 10 through 19, um, and it will help propose them to career readiness, being prepared for job interviews, but you're never too early to learn those skills. Um, and so we are in the process of recreating our summer program, what it could look like. Um, it will be myself and another young lady named Miss Love. I think she works at, yes. So she's working with us to help develop a program for the summer. Um, and then we'll close out the end of the program with our Janice Slam that we have annually at our Cherry Hill office located at Brown, on, I mean, on Siegel Avenue. Um, we're very excited. If you know any youth that are between those ages, this flight says 10 to 14 because that's my age group. I do middle school and then my counterpart is the standard high school. But if you email me or contact me, and you have a high school that I'll make sure you con you'll get in contact with them. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me or shoot me an email. I'll be sure to uh, answer them to the best of my ability. And thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Well, down there. So what are the yeah. hours going to be for the summer? We are still solidifying that. Um, it's We're in the process of rejuvenating uh, our office. Our office has been in that location for 30 plus years. Yeah. And it looks like that. So we're trying to, <laughs> before we, we solidify like the schedule and what rooms are accessible and things, we're trying to lay that out. But I will be sure to get any like materials, flyers, promotional things to you guys. Probably drop them all. Flyers. And you'll see them posted around. Um, we're working on a partnership with the uh, library up the street too. So you'll probably see our um, information posted up around it. Um, and then the last thing I want to say is do you have to be a student or uh, yeah, a student that lives in Cherry Hill or no. is it open to all Baltimore mm -hmm. City students? It's open to all Baltimore City students, but our focus, I guess, because our, our um, faces in this mm -hmm. area has been targeting guidance here. But if you know someone citywide, please send them my way. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And just to highlight the uh, community school coordinator for the South Baltimore Adult High School here, uh, Ms. Tiffany Williams-Jones. So if you did have any other questions specific to the South Baltimore Adult High School, 
feel free to um, check in with Tiffany before you leave. Awesome. So we're going to go back into Cub Academy. So Miss Ward, who is the lead on that, um, is uh, doing something, thank you, is doing something in her classroom. So I'm going to share a little bit about Cub Academy. So Cub Academy is a Rundle summer program. It is for rising first and a very select few second graders. So um, the Elevate program is majority of rising second graders and then a couple second graders who will be identified by their teachers are going to be um, selected for Cub Academy. Um, this is a program that's focusing on literacy and math um, and fun um, because it's the summer. Um, so the program is June 26th to August 3rd, and it runs Monday through Thursday. Um, you can see the structure of the program. They do 8.30 to 9 is breakfast, 9 to 10.30 is academics, 10.30 to 12 is academics. Then they do lunch, and then until 3.30, they have enrichment. Um, so you can see that they have lots of enrichment providers that are going to be working. So we've got Art with a Heart. Golden school, some PE, games on fitness, and some cooking partners. So it sure be a good time. Field trips, too. You're also going to be going on field trips um, as part of the program, too. So you can see the Turkey Hill experience on the Maryland Science Center. Okay. Um, and then t shirts. You All the kids get a Club Academy t shirt. Mm -hmm. Interested, you can complete a paper application or you can scan this QR code. Um, the code is also um, on the, the paper, I believe, um, with all the summer programs, or you can email Mrs. Ward and she'll uh, help get you enrolled. So again, this is for rising first graders um, and will be at Arundel Elementary. I also love the paper application. Do you know us? There, we'll be coming out with the, with the yeah, so talk to me after and we'll email Ms. Ward just to confirm. But if you build up the paper application, you should be good. Did you give it to your child's teacher? Um, yes, so you should be good. Well, when I did it, she emailed me back and told me who all, like, my child got accepted or not. Oh, okay, so let's check. Okay, yeah. <laughs> when did you fill it out? The first day. Okay, yeah, yeah. let's check. <laughs> There's still space, so you should be fine. We'll, we'll fill it out. Awesome. Other questions? Okay. Are there any questions in general about summer programming or anything that anyone, there's lots of yeah. Okay, what's, what's the current thing for math and literacy? So, that I do not know the answer to because that's Ms. Ward and Ms. Ware's thing. So we'll have to, we'll find them and ask. But I'm sure that it's grade level focus to make sure that the kids are either catching up or getting ready for the next grade. I will say that all of the Club Academy summer program are taught by um, um, teachers that are in the classroom during the school year. So it is high dosage um, academics in some of the And it's smaller groups that teachers are able to get more um, education. Well, that's what would be good at any valid dynamic or anything. Okay. So we'll have to get All right. We will figure out those to that. I'll do that right when we get when we get off. All right. Those are weird. Technology is a bit. All right. Any questions? Yes, I'm sorry. The pen doesn't work. Okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. And there gets an emergency. Seriously. All right. Well, thank you. We'll stick around to answer any questions that you may have. I'm going to come over right now. We'll figure out the code um, and email Ms. Ward. Well, thank you all for coming. And please take some muffins. Yeah.